to the dipshit motherfucker that keep losing his mind on my children. You should not be allowed to have unsupervised access to children. The only reason you do is because you got people to lie for you. So congratulations to the people who were adults who lied for this motherfucker. He's been abusing my kids. He's teaching my kids to abuse people and to be allow themselves to be abused. They get hit with objects that are thrown at them, whatever variety of things he can grab and throw at them. Uh, hits them with belts, with uh, wire hangers. He's admitted to me he's murdered people. I've seen him lose control to scary levels. Somebody losing control like that can end up killing somebody even if it wasn't intentional, like my child. So the damage that's being caused to my children right now is in the karmic plate of in particular, the adults that allowed and lied for him, uh, the professionals whom I hired to protect them and did not, child psychologist, drug dealer, lawyers, uh, well, in particular, because judges didn't get involved. More than anything, the child psychologist, drug dealing piece of shit. No. There's no excuse of why you need to be abusing children. The only reason a child would frustrate you to the point that you are going crazy is because you're not watching them. You're not putting your crap up. You're investing too much time and money into stuff that, that you're not locking up. If you actually watch the children or hire professionals, to watch them properly, such as you are instructed to do, they can't do anything because you're right there watching them. This isn't rocket science, it's common sense. Yes, I will call the police on you if I feel like my children's lives are in danger and abuse, psychological, mental, emotional, not just physical, is a life-threatening thing. People kill themselves over this kind of stuff. Their lives are ruined where they can't function as adults over psychological, mental, emotional abuse. So you dipshits that lied for this abuser criminal are responsible. You dipshits who didn't do your job of watching the videos and the evidence that I presented to you and you don't even know how to discern when a child's lying are responsible. So keep your fucking hands off my kids. Do not yell at them. Do not throw things at them. Don't hit them, period, at all. And stop feeding them shit. Cereal is shit. Cookies is shit. Muffins are shit. Bread in large quantities and made incorrectly in particular is shit. Sugar is shit. It doesn't matter if it came from a fruit tree or if it came from a manufactured bullshit thing. Sugar causes the same damage to the physical human body, mind, and every single cell in your structure, period. You're responsible, all of you that helped this lunatic get my kids for their physical, mental, emotional well-being, for their future. <laughs> because why? Because you hate me? Why do you hate me? I was nice to all of you. Because you make up shit and because you believe liars? Because you believe gossip from a lunatic who's paranoid? Every day would come home and tell me about all the reasons of why we can't live in peace and tranquility. People trying to rape us, kill us, fucking the cops, the detectives are looking at us, watching us, on and on and on. People want to murder us up and down every day and night, not even allowing anyone to be at peace and rest in their own home. Coming home, losing their mind over shit that's not a big deal, throwing stuff at us. 
That's why I left him. If he was a great guy, why would I have left him? And yeah, I was irresponsible because I left. Because now my kids are in danger and they're having to deal with this lunatic by themselves. But I just thought you were supposed to leave abuse so that you don't teach your children to abuse people and to be abused. And all of you that have watched his behavior and continue to give him chances, all you're doing is giving him a chance to abuse more every single time. It's been 20 years that I've known this motherfucker and he's never changed a single bit of his ways. He has in fact gotten worse. I'm more clever about the mind and manipulating. some serious real bones. I don't know, something. Like people go on and on about how you were abusing the gays and we're abusing, sexually abusing. What about all this abuse that I'm talking about? Why is that okay? Is it because the majority of y'all do that? Is that why it's okay? Because if you do it, it's okay? It's not fucking okay. The people kill themselves over not being able to function as an adult, not feeling good about themselves as a child over bullies and abusers who are not putting a single hand on them. Just mental, psychological, emotional abuse. And this motherfucker put his hands on my kids on top of doing the mental, mental psychological, and emotional abuse. What are you gonna do about it? You can keep allowing this to happen just because you feel sorry for some motherfucker that look cute and know how to act? Like he's gonna do shit he's never gonna do. 20 motherfucking years. Hey, pendejo. Hey, callate. I think they understand Spanish better than English, to be honest. So yeah, I don't fucking care. I will call the police on this motherfucker when I know he's abusing my kids. And I haven't done it before because I didn't know what he was doing. My kids didn't have the opportunity to um, call me. And I'm sure that now the devices they have in which they called me with will be taken away from him so he can get away with abusing and not having anyone called on him. So are you, you my older kids that are in the house, gonna do something? Or are you gonna keep lying for an abuser? Because you care about your transgendered friends, you care about your gay friends, but do you care about your little fucking brothers? Do you care about the future of Earth? There's 1% of like transgendered gay people and we definitely wanna protect them facts. But can we protect the 99% of the people that are going to be adults that run our planet that we don't want broken so we don't have to keep dealing like motherfuckers like this? Question mark. Like this isn't rocket science, common sense. We need to care about all abuse and we need to care about the abuse that's more prevalent. And what's happening to my children is the more prevalent abuse that's been going on. That's why y'all are fucking nuts as adults with your anxiety and all your fucking mental problems. But then you defend and protect your abusers. You all have Stockholm Syndrome. Look it up. Learn yourself and have bigger balls than these fucking abusers and change. Period. Like if I ran the world, if I ran the fucking world, this shit would not be allowed, period death penalty for people that abuse children in any way, shape, or form, whom abuse anyone in any way, shape, or form. 
No chances. One strike, you're out, bitch. Motherfuckers. I never even got results from any motherfucker that I gave a chance to. Not once. Zero. Zero times did a second chance work. It only turned into a third. It only turned into another opportunity for that person to abuse. So when you're giving an abuser a chance, you're giving them the chance to abuse you again, period only. Fucking learn.